bear. It's so hard to store food. You don't even understand. The internet's not real. Google doesn't work. And I don't know how to watch YouTube. How do I put food in buckets? First, you have a badass metal drum set, cuz. Second, you carry Glocks, not SIGs like this guy. And then third, you come back here. Honestly, I love you guys. I'm just messing with you. All right, so welcome to the food pantry. We got food grade buckets over here. We got brand new lids over here. We got oxygen absorbers, 2000 CC. Thank you very much. And Mylar baggies. And we've got back here, we have white rice, pinto beans, whole feed corn from the feed store, and then over 3,000 pounds of wheat, hard red winter wheat, which we are putting into five gallon Mylar bags in buckets. See, these have not been sealed yet. And so I wanna bring you along for the ride just a little bit. Everybody and their freaking mom has a video on how do I put food in buckets? But so many people keep asking me, Bear, how do I put food in your bucket? That I figured I would answer the question to how do I put food in a bucket? So we're gonna put food in the bucket. Um, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, stand All right, by. So, wheat in bags, bucket, bag go in bucket, take bag out of outer bag, put in bucket, then put wheat in bucket. This is wheat. That is wheat. They look like little itty bit of deer feet or something else that'll get you into trouble. Get your head out of the gutter. Okay, so you put it in like that. And then what we do is we cinch it up like so and we seal about two thirds of this off because next what's gonna go in here is an oxygen absorber. We take the oxygen absorber, which looks something like this. Take one of these, throw them in there, smush all the air out, and then seal up that last third. So we got a couple more. I'm getting motion sick. Dramamine.com. Um, we'll do a couple more of these, throw the oxygen absorbers in there, and seal these up, and then move these to an undisclosed location for me and my peeps. Stand all right, that pale ass Irish leg belongs to some guy. Um, he can't help it, it's his genetics. Don't judge people. All right, so there we go. And we're live. We're doing it live. All right, and this goes great with two people. This here is um, for straightening out your pubes or your beard, or I don't even know. I think this is a girl tool. I know very little about it. Uh, they can't even see it. Move it right here. There you go. There it is. Uh, we use it for bucketing food. But uh, whatever. Why would you burn your hair with these? I'm telling you, like, <laughs> it is so much work to be beautiful. So start about here. Don't grab okay. it on this side either because that's how you burn your hands. Yeah. So. You want to leave about this much open. So start about there. There you go. Don't hold it in one position for too long because it will melt and then tear your mylar. And then, and again, with two people, this is much easier. Watch your fingers. Don't you talk to me like that. Okay. And then usually we'll go back over it again. Give this a little pinchy pinch. It's hot, okay? So you don't wanna like just grab and hold on to that. There you go. And what we're looking for are these wrinkles here to kind of suck up and as it cools, it will. And then we have a good seal right there. And then, so now we've got that much left open. That's where the oxy absorber will go into. We'll smush all the air out of this and seal that last third off, okay? So. We got one more bucket to do. We'll do that again in a second. We got a lot more than one bucket to do. But in this batch, we got one more bucket to do. So again, here's the seams where it comes together. Pinch the seams like so. Start about one third of the way in. Yeah, get your finger in there. That's a good idea. There you go. So good. It's tremendous. Okay, you were like awesome at this. Like. I can't even believe it. When I grow up, I want to put food in buckets like you. You know? I learned from the best. It's like, wow, I'm honored when you say things like that. Just talking about like, my dad, man. Because your dad is <laughs> awesome. And I don't know. I just feel like so, like, like, like preparable when we like put food in buckets and stuff, okay? 
feels so good. So now we're gonna get one of them oxy absorbers and it's gonna go in the bag and then we're gonna seal it. Okay, so just hold on internet, just chill. Jeez. Don't put hot hair iron on things that can catch fire. You shouldn't like put a hot iron on anything cause like that's really always. Like super painful and stuff. That's how you burn stuff. Okay, so this is an oxygen absorber, and you just kind of just like smash it in here like that. And when they're kind of like squishy, that's how you know they're good. When they're hard and like ouchy, then they're not good. Okay, okay. So that goes in there. We give a nice little pat. There we go. And then. We're gonna take this and like get all the airs out of it. And then Janky is gonna just like seal off that last part right there. Do it, but don't suck at it. Oh my gosh, you are like, you are like Mozart with a straight iron. Whoa. That could have been bad. You're like Da Vinci. You are the Da Vinci of food in buckets. It's so, oh my, stop it. It's beautiful. Stop it. It's beautiful. And you fold like that, and then you like get one of these Frisbees, like one of these Frisbees right here, and then you just like, like that, and it's finished. Oh my gosh, guys, it's not cooperating. We need, yeah. a, we need a hammer. Do you have a hammer? I don't have a hammer. Oh my gosh, we gotta get a hammer. So anyways, it's like pretends that that went on there, okay? Okay. We'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so like, we're gonna do this like one more time again. So still, it's like all squishy, so it's good. We're gonna put it in the hole like that. And gentle pat. And then we're gonna like, smush all the airs out. Get all the airs out. There you go. And then like seal off all my fingers with the arm. That's so good. You are like a tremendous. You are like the David Hasselhoff of hair straighteners. So good, so good. And then fold it and pat it and mark it with a B and put it in the oven for baby and me. There you go, just like that. All right guys, so like, I know we're kind of playing around, but it's literally that easy. So, like all things, um, maybe no paralysis by analysis, maybe quit thinking about it and maybe start doing it. Just, there's some shoe company that has a phrase, it's like, what is it? Like just, yeah, just get off your ass or just, don't procrastinate or just do something. Swoosh. Yeah. Swoosh. Like the wings of an eagle. Swoosh. Anyway, put food in buckets. It's not that hard. Uh, you get buckets, you get lids, get a hammer. Um, then get the time. Do it now. Do it. Do it now. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have white rice to do, pinto beans to do. Feed corn from the store. Everybody's like, where can I get corn? Feed corn from the store. Yeah, but the mold, it hasn't killed me yet. Feed corn from the store. Wheat, we get this from granaries. That's where grain comes from, granaries. Call around, ask around, figure it out. Right there, hashtag waking the giant. That's right. Google. Wheat, yes, those are 50 pound sacks of wheat. Wheat, and then you put it in Mylar bags. You can get that Mylar from all kinds of online retailers. Um, just Google five gallon Mylar bags. Google 2000 CC oxygen absorbers, order that stuff to your house, preferably from a small business. Put the Mylar bag in the bucket, put the food in the Mylar, seal the Mylar off with your teenage daughter's hair straightener, put the uh, oxygen absorber in there, get the last, rest of the air out, seal it off all the way, apply lid, you're done. And as you can see, I like to do this in batches. Rather than doing two buckets at a time, I'd rather do 200 buckets at a time. So that's how we roll. Thanks, Crazy Canuck, for the flag. Uh, yeah, see, liberty. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. And among these are life, 
liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You got anything to add there, Janky? God bless America. That's right, Yankee survival. Shalom, y'all.